Hey, welcome back to Views and Brews. I am Brendan, and this is Goway Bay Brewery's Full Sail IPA. Okay, so Goway Bay Brewery um, is known everywhere to everyone in Ireland as uh, one of the bigger, bigger. Uh, craft breweries and one of their flagship beers uh, in their core range is the Full Sail IPA. Um, it's been uh, canned in this smaller version, 330ml, but I'm sure you can also get it in the bigger version still uh, in the bottles. 5.8% um, IPA um, and this beer is just a classic modern version of an IPA. Um, here in Ireland. Um, got the old Spiegelau glass out here. Um, bit awkward to clean these glasses. Yeah, so Full Sail IPA. Um, it's made with three different hops. Columbus, Cascade. El Dorado is slightly new, a bit more tropical. Uh, Cascade is one of those citrus Hops. Yeah, and Columbus gives it that uh, citrus sort of element to it as well. So I'm expecting a citrusy tropical IPA. 5.8% um, at this stage for IPAs is almost on the lower scale, uh, but it's not it's not a session IPA by any means. So yeah, it looks like it's going to be an interesting beer. I haven't had this in about six months. I'm expecting a decent head on this beer. Let's have a little look at it. Okay, straight away off on the nose, there's a very herbal element to the aroma as I'm pouring it out. Mm. Um, big two finger head, um, very traditional sort of head for an IPA. I know that's gonna stick around, densely compact foamy head. Very nice, very nice looking stable head, um, hazy complexion, um, bit of a bit of a golden complexion colour to the beer. Um, good amounts of carbonation coming off off the beer as well. What does it say about the beer on the can? Okay, so barley, hops, and wheat. Okay, so. There's a, there's a bit of wheat in there. That's gonna give the head a bit of stability and give a bit of backbone to the beer. But it looks like a very basic sort of malt profile, uh, just letting the hops do their thing. Uh, let's give it a try. Yeah, there's a very herbal element to this. I'd say a bit of, um, definitely citrus and herbal on the nose. Okay, cheers, slancha, let's try it. Wow, a decently malty beer. There's a good, uh, strong backbone of maltiness. Now, I've just come off the back of uh, trying Goe Bay Brewery's other session IPA, which is the Weights and Measures, and that was only 3%. So this is nearly double that, 5.8%. And you notice it straight away in the body. Um, nice mouthfeel to it. Rounded, tiny bit of slickness, very nice. It's got that characteristic IPA feel about it. It's got that really nice bitterness to it that you would expect from American sort of style IPA. Um, just really interesting rounded bitterness that sticks with you. It's almost like a grapefruit, but more citrusy, more lemony type um, bitterness. Mm. Oh, that's fantastic. I've had this beer on several occasions, um, both in can, bottle, and on tap. And it's it's a flagship beer for the, uh, the brewery for a reason. It's just really well made. And and every time I go back to this beer, I always think, God, if I if I'm looking for a beer that I can depend upon, and it's always going to have the same consistency throughout the beer. Uh, this is the one, Full Sail IPA. I don't think there's a person in Ireland that doesn't like this beer. I like the fact that there's a herbal element to the hops. I wasn't expecting that. Bit of um, 
a bit of sweetness in the malt, um, but herbally, very herbally type of uh, beer. Um, not so herbally that it goes off the end of the scale where it ends up men menthol. I don't like uh, beers that are like that. But it's very, but it's very unapologetically an IPA. Um, very old school, very, very much sort of West Coast style IPA. Really enjoyable bitterness to this beer. A lot of the East Coast style uh, IPAs that don't have this bitterness and go for the juicy uh, approach to the hops. Um, I find that they miss, I find that when I, I try try those beers, sometimes they're missing something that, that a, an old school IPA like this really has bundles of in character wise. I would say one of the interesting characteristics about this beer is the more you let it warm up, the more the flavors of the hops are interesting in that I'm getting things more along the lines of fleshy melon and and stone fruits, not necessarily peach, but maybe a bit of maybe a bit of uh, unripe apricot or something. But um, definitely a little bit of melon going on. Yeah, very interesting f um, flavors, uh, aromas from the hops in this. Columbus, Cascade hops. Cascade is probably one of the most widely used hops in America and probably the whole of the world at this stage. Really nice Eldorado in there. Definitely some tropical element to it. Um, oh, yeah, really nice beer. Really nice beer. I would rate this one very highly. In fact, I would I would go so far as to say in an island, it's probably one of my favourite IPAs. Always has been, always will be, and even though I haven't had it in six months or so, it's still living up to uh, its name. Uh, great beer, great flagship beer. Now in these handy little cans, you can get a bag of cans and um, mix and match. Um, yeah, that's my view on this brew. Let me know in the comments if, you, if you've had this beer, what you think about it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, give it an old like and subscribe and on to the next one. Slancha, cheers, bye.